Welcome along to SBR BTCZ Legends, and yeah, it's me again, I'm really sorry. Uh, yeah, a couple commentators, or so-called commentators, have let us down, so I'm back in the hot seat for the British Touring Cars, back with BTCC Blueprints and Paul Welsh as well, groundwork construction. So let's go to the grid here at Autopolis. Autopolis, Autopolis. Nathan on pole, ahead of Jake, then it's Sean and Jeff again well up in qualifying can he translate that to a race result he's followed by Liam and Ben then we've got Lewis and uh, Panos Chris and Leon who's had lessons from Jake this week then it's Rob way back for him and Adam same for him and Ashley at the back with a VE Day tribute and very nice it is so and there's one on the back of one of the BMWs but we'll get to that in the later in the race the red lights on it's green and we're away or oh, some of us are but Chris isn't it Chris is obviously jumped the start and he's way back and that's already ruined his race to a certain extent but it's Nathan with a stunning start ahead of Jake and then it's sh looking like Sean's got the inside line but we'll have to wait to see what happens there there's a go free abreast and who's that spinning oh that's Lewis Lewis off into the kitty litter and that's well just like Chris really that's ruined his race before it's even started down through the twisty section they go a couple tight corners and a hairpin and Jake looking at the inside of Nathan already and Jeff into the side of Ben pushed him wide Leon gets involved a bit of Constantina effect there at the hairpin but Jeff's got through so Jeff's feeling a bit punchy today and Nathan's still just about hanging on to the lead although Jake is trying to take it at every opportunity and again looking for the inside down into the last corner which again is a pretty tight hairpin quite easy to get wrong on the braking and oh there's a bit of bit of confusion there and Panos up the inside of Ben looks like he's got that done good move from him so the two S40 livery cars ahead of the Labatt's cars and Ben working his way backwards although he didn't have a great qualifying again he was stuck in the pits for two minutes before the car was released but more important than that is Jake sliding down the inside takes the lead from Nathan Nathan switches back like the clever man that he is and he retakes the lead off Jake so he's not having any of that Jake's gonna have to work for this meanwhile at turn one as that was happening something else happened and it's Ben down the inside of Panos he's trying to repay the favor he's got past but a bit of an elbow and Panos is off into the gravel and Ben's decided to wait for him bit of a tough one that but he's decided uh, to play it safe against the stewards so he's let Panos back through and again Ben's race down to 12th place the only person behind him is Lewis who was so far off the track that he needed a ticket to get back in so well Jake's still trying to get the lead trying all sorts now he's tried a little switch back at the hairpin can he get round the outside I very much doubt it Nathan reclaims the lead and Liam's just behind this keeping a watch in brief as well as Sean and we've got Leon up in fifth so his lessons from Jake are really paying off keep going back and Lewis last at the moment and so it's four for the lead then a gap back to Leon who's ahead of Jeff who's actually having a good race and he's not falling back too badly and Jake again looking and now he's got a good slipstream he's ducking down the inside that Mitsubishi's not too slow on the straight to be fair against the Subaru they're pretty evenly matched and now Jake surely get this done he won't run wide and Liam's gonna have a look at Nathan at the same time as Jeff moves up past oh there's a bit of bumping and boring behind them positions changing cars everywhere and there we go so still Leon ahead of Rob and Ashley coming through well from the back of the grid he's up to seventh already so Jake's leading with a good gap already start to pull away Chris coming back through the field after his jump start is up to 10th also the only 13 runners because we lost the uh, Nissan team early in the season and it didn't feel right to replace them so this is pretty much what we've got and uh, Will's not made it either but I uh, suspect he will come back for the last race Leon's still doing a good job to hold all these guys off his teammate now coming back through he's up to 11th back past Panos so down into this first corner again 
It is Jake that leads from Nathan ahead of Liam and um, Sean. So we've seen this before. They're pulling away. Leon doing a great job up in fifth. Did not expect that to be the leading Labatt's car that's, uh, you know, fighting a good fight. As Lewis now tries to get past Panos and he'll get that done. Ben at the same time looking down the inside of Chris and he just doesn't get that done. Ooh, more contact and Lewis loses the uh, drive as soon as you lose the back end on that BMW. That's game over against these four-wheel drives. And again down to 13th place. No changes at the front though. Jake still leads it from Nathan. Ashley doing well up to 7th like I said from 13th on the grid. He's got Adam all over him. Not a great day from the BMW so far as Liam defends against Sean. Sean doing the outside, trying to come back down the inside. Nathan's got a good run out the last corner as well, so he might better challenge Jake as Adam slides up the inside of uh, Ashley there. And he takes seventh place away. <coughs> and again, down into this first corner. It's a very quick lap around this track. It's an uh, auto polish short. Adam defends the seventh place though from Ashley, keeps it. And now Jeff will try and get back at Ashley. Jake not getting away. Nathan quite easily managing to keep with him. Into this hairpin again, which we'll see some overtaking, I'm sure. <coughs> Leon's a surprise of the race up in fifth. If he can hold that, that's really going to help his uh, survival chances. And there's a bit more banging as Ash tries to get back past on Adam. I'm not sure if he's done it, I don't think so. Adam at the inside line for the next corner, and no, he hasn't. Jake setting fastest sectors, but still not enough to get away. Leon did a great job. He's got Rob right behind him, but he's hanging on. And ooh, betting into the side now of Jeff, and he's going to have to let him go, and he does. And uh, well, Ben claiming that his new pedals are costing him time as he adjusted to life with them, but uh, that's worse than. Liam's brake bias excuse to be fair and Li well maybe uh, Sean had a brake bias issue there because he's just about kept that on the track kicked up the gravel a little bit but lost a bit of time as Ash's teammate Chris going to battle they're battling over 8th place Ben's still in 11th really not making any progress Ashley still holds off his teammate well, Chris will try and keep the outside of the inside at the next corner can't do it Ashley just keeps the line and the place and keeps to be the lead Honda Subaru you know where I'm going with that but a uh, fantastic livery on the side with VE Day and uh, great celebrations on this Friday and Ashley goes wide kicks up the dirt is that an enough for Chris to get past let's see you have to do it the long way and let's see if we can pull that off and nope, he hasn't, but now he's done a cut back and got Ashley on the, the, out, the uh, switch back and gets that done. And that might even allow Jeff through as well, and I think it has. Yep, Jeff's through, and it looks like Ben's following through as well. Not like that. Nope. Ashley keeps ahead of Ben. But Jeff and Chris get through. And Ashley is going to have to stay where he is for now. Oh, he's going to run away again at turn one. Lost the car. Oh, keeps it going though. Keeps the point the right way and loses two more positions to Ben and Panos. And finally, we've seen some progress from the uh, Labatt's car. It's actually, we're at the front, but look at the lead. Leon's managed to pull on Rob. I think Rob must have made a mistake because he did a 12 last lap through. Still, this battle for the lead is now starting to stretch away from Liam. Who's, with Sean's mistakes, managed to gap him. Leon still, like I say, the surprise of the race up in fifth, doing a grand job. He must not be uh, onto the whiskey by now, but maybe his teammate is, because he's off into the gravel at the last corner. And now he dangerously rejoins straight into the side of Lewis. So uh, Lewis never said anything afterwards, but he had every right to, because that was stupid. And, well, more chaos from Ben in the Labatt's car. He's just not having a great race. His teammate is, though, and he's still in fifth ahead of Rob. And this pack that's chasing. 
So another disaster for Ben, and that's any chance he had of the championships probably gone with this race, I would say. So these top four are pretty much championship contenders now. Leon's only scored six points before this race all season, and he's about to quadruple that in one race. If he can hang on for fifth place, there's still a fair portion of the race to go. So Nathan still seems to be able to hang on to Jake, but not really challenge him. Same with Liam and Sean, to be fair, they look pretty evenly matched. Leon doing 11 ones, and that's pretty much the same pace as these guys behind, so he'll uh, keep that going. And he's looked pretty solid so far, so let's uh, let's pray for Leon's sake. He can have a good result. He uh, showed glimpses a bit last season, but this season's been a disaster. And, uh, well, here's Chris, who's trying to make up for a disaster at the start when he jumped it. And now he's going to try and get past Adam in the BMW that's pretty much outclassed this season by the four-wheel drive cars. Not much uh, decent results for those guys. Still out front, Jake leads, but he cannot shake Nathan. Nathan definitely keeping in touch. And Liam and Sean are in their own battle, but not really on the same pace. Rob's getting a bit of pressure from behind from Adam, but Adam's ran wide, and now Ashley's... Is that Ash or Chris? Sorry, Chris trying to get around the outside. Not managing to pull that off. And Jeff sat there waiting. Jeff finally having a good run. He's been setting the world alight with practice times, but uh, when it's come to the race, he's not managed to replicate that. Into the last corner, those guys go. And oh, Lewis has gone wide. Ben's trying to get back through, but he can't get it done. And at the bottom of the straight, at the start of the, the lap, on lap 10 now. Sean's looking a bit busy around the back of Liam and he's looking for a way through. Chris still looking, dodging down the inside of Adam but there's no gap, he's just trying to scare him off or make him make a mistake. Lewis looks like he might have done, gone a bit deep into that turn one. And Ben gets a slingshot through the corner. Maybe that's still not enough to get the inside line though, down into turn three. Nope, I have to try and go on the outside but that's not going to work, it's not close enough. the hairpin still kind of line of stern not the correct oh sideways from Lewis so like he pulled the handbrake up there and now Ben's oh Ben's gone offline and into the grass and a bad race has just come to a bitter end and well the worst race I've ever seen him do and he's still playing around well it's gone all rally cross now and yeah pretty pathetic race for him Two laps to go, sorry, three laps to go now. And still, Nathan just tracking, just tracking uh, Jake, but not able to find a way through. Same with Sean and Liam. Quite frustrating to watch, to be honest with you. We want to see some overtakes. It's Chris still closing on Adam, trying to do something about it. And Adam's a bit slow off the corner. And it looked like Chris was thinking about it. I don't know what's happened here. to the hairpin and we're getting towards the start of the penultimate lap here it comes across the line to start the penultimate lap Jake still leads but Nathan's still there and any small mistake and he will be through and now Sean is all over the back of Liam he's going to have a look round the outside into turn one that's going to be a brave brave move it will normally end up in the sand pit because uh, Liam might accidentally run wide on the exit if you know what I mean but nope and Sean's done a cut back but he's not got the drive still Leon holding down fifth place for the Labatt's team Rob's closing now but it's too late Jeff down the inside of Adam so Jeff continues his rampage through the field and Chris trying to get a, a switch back on both of them and Chris is going down the inside of both of them Jeff's hanging on around the outside but now he's gone off and Jeff well he went from seventh down to tenth in one move and well that's the story of the season to be fair and his teammates gone through Chris feels guilty for that and he's letting everyone back through and to be honest with you I don't see why I think it was a fair move 
Jeff chose to stay on the outside and just ran out of road for me, but if Chris feels that way, that's up to him. But uh, as we're about to start the last lap, looks like Jake's pulled the pin. He's got a gap on Nathan. Maybe Nathan made a mistake. But this is not resolved. Still Sean looking everywhere around the back of Liam. He'll have a good slipstream down the straight. Can he get the move done? He's running out of chances. He really needs to goad Liam in to make a mistake. But now he's trying to go around the outside. Liam's covered the inside. But now he needs to get on it. Because Sean will try it. He will try the outside. He's not scared of trying it. Liam's weaving around trying to scare Sean. Sean will try and go on the outside, but it's not going to happen. His last chance really is going to be the hairpin or the last corner. And it's looking more likely that Leon's going to take fifth place, you know. And that would be a really good, might even be a slight personal best, I would say. Might even have matched it. I remember Monzo, he did pretty well in one race. But Jake's going to win this race, no doubt about it. Number one's going to win. Number two's going to be second. <laughs> number three's in 13th. And out the last corner. And he almost... Oof, he was very close to losing that. But again, he's kept it together. And Jake's going to win again. In the Tory cars ahead of Nathan. Second place for him. Liam's just about going to get third. They're just ahead of Sean. Sean really had a good exit on the last corner. Leon with a fantastic fifth place. And he needed that. Rob sixth. And it's going to be Adam 7th, Panos 8th, and then the rest come across the line, like Jeff in 9th. <coughs> and last will be Ben, after a day, a drive that he will want to forget very quickly. So that's the results from that race, as he comes across the line. And probably wishes they could start at that all over again. Join us very shortly for round 8.